Warning, the following may contain profanity. It may contain use of products that are intended for people of age of 18 or of legal age to smoke tobacco in whatever country you're in. And, of course, let's not forget the turtles. Bring on the turtles! <laughs> Hey folks, Redneck Vapor here for another Hump Day Vape. This week, I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and start out this week's episode with a review of my last week from Hump Day to Hump Day. Uh, on Sunday night, we got what was an ice storm. It started sleeting Sunday night, and we've had an ice storm come through Tennessee, and I have been stuck in this house for the last three days. Ain't been able to get out of the driveway, nothing like that. It's just three, four inches of just a solid ice on all the roads. Anyway, so I'm starting to get a little bit of that cabin fever going on up in here. But I finally got out on the road today and, and went down to my local brick and mortar and got my, my uh, monthly fill of uh, John Wayne or whatever, and I noticed something, which I'd noticed these in a couple of the videos I've been watching this week. i tell you what, y'all been... Some of the channels that I'm subscribed to have been just throwing out some videos this week. Uh, Secondhand Vapor, Rebel Vapor, uh, been doing their uh, Five Ponds Mixology reviews. Let me tell you something. If you are subscribed to my channel and you're not subscribed to them too, you need to get on down there. I'll leave links to their channels down in the description. But uh, anyway, I, I got my John Wayne today and I noticed something. Looky there. Those are child resistant caps for the dripper thingamajiggies on these glass bottles. Awesome in my book. Thumbs up to Uncle Junks for that. I think a lot of those California liquid companies are are starting to be the first ones because I've noticed those on all those five ponds bottles that uh, Secondhand and Rebel Vapor have been, uh, been reviewing this week. So that's a good thing. I'm glad to see that uh, these companies are starting to take in consideration of the child-resistant caps. So, getting off of that. Anyway, like I said, I've been iced in for the last three days. Finally got out, re-upped on my, my John Wayne, which I, I buy two to three bottles of this stuff at a time because she runs out so fast up there. I think she told me she sold over 180 bottles in a two-week period or something like that crazy down here anyway what have i got for this week's hump day vape let's see today i kind of gave a sneak peek on my uh, instagram speaking of instagram folks i am now on instagram at redneck underscore vapor on instagram so if you want to follow me on instagram go on over there and check me out or check it out whichever one you want to do you can check me out just an ugly guy from tennessee but anyway uh I posted a picture of this bottle right here. Now what this is, is this is Unicorn Vapor Smurfette. Smurfette. Okay. Labeling on this bottle, eh, it's a pretty standard affair here. It's like a, a printer label. Not real fancy, but it's got the indications of the nicotine on the side. I got it in 12 milligram. Tends to be my, my normal nicotine strength and uh smurfette is the flavor that i'm doing this week by unicorn vapors if you don't know who unicorn vapors is uh they sell e-liquid they've got a mod that they sell that i believe is what they're known for it's called the mythos it's an aluminum anodized mod hybrid i think it's a genesis hybrid type deal but uh what had what got me to uh, purchase these liquids from them was they had a deal going on that was three 30 mil bottles for $25. Which, that's a great deal in my book, people. Great deal. And as I got to looking yesterday at, at the website, they still have that deal going on as of this date. I'm going to say as of this date because if you're watching this two months from now, it may not be happening then. So don't comment on the video two months from now 
and go, well, that deal ain't going on no more. You're a friggin' liar. Well, I'm not lying to you as of today, okay? Anyway, moving on. I purchased three liquids from this company. One of them was Smurfette. And as described on their website, it's a creamy strawberry blueberry blend. That's all it says. Creamy strawberry blueberry blend. Short and sweet. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you folks. I've had this for over a month. I've had to let it set. Steep if you call it that long because when I first got this liquid it was very perfumey so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out there I had to let it steep how I steep is I pull the lid off of it which these are child resistant lids that gets a thumbs up in my book child resistant lids it has the pointed tip on it I pop that off after of course I shake the bottle up really well first I shake it I know what that looks like insert comments now but anyway shake it up really well I pull this cap off pull that nipple thing out and I let it sit in a dark cool place for half a day full 24 hours however long I remember to go back in there put the cap back on it thing back in there shake it up really good I know what this looks like insert comment now <laughs> anyway then I set it back in there and I just leave it. I forget about it for a little while. I may go back in and tap, you know, taste on it a little bit with a dripper or whatnot. But like I said, this has been sitting for about a month. And it's finally starting to come around to where I can, I can vape it. So I'm going to do this just like last time. I'm going to do it one, you know, two ways. I'm going to do it in a RDA. It's a 1.6 ohm coil I got built in here with cotton wick. And uh, I'm running it at 12 and a half watts. That's just my personal preference. That doesn't mean you have to do that. Okay. The other thing, I got it on my Ace with a uh, Kanger Evod style tank. I don't know if it's authentic or not. It works the same way. It does have a, a rebuilt head in it that I did at 2.3 ohms I did uh, seven to, uh, I think it was seven to nine wraps with a 30 gauge canthal give or take my memory is about as short as my moving on uh, <clears throat> anyway I've got it bo both setups today I'll go ahead and get on this Let's start with the dripper. Uh, let's see if I missed anything about this real quick. Yeah, the bottles are yeah, they're, they're semi-easy to squeeze. They're not hard to squeeze at all. Like I said, it's a 30 ml bottle. Pointed tip. Got all that covered. So check, check, check. We'll start with the dripper. I don't know what the PGVG ratio is on this liquid. Nowhere on the website does it specify. But that's the color. I don't know if you can see that, but that's kind of how it's... It seems to be somewhat pretty thick. It's got to be at least a 60-40, in my opinion. Higher on the VG side. I can tell that it's a little higher on the VG side just because it, the vapor tends to linger about for quite some time. But I'll go ahead and show you the vapor production off the dripper. Like I said, as you can see, the, the vapor is lingering about the room, so it's got really good vapor production on this liquid. Throat hit. As I can say, I'm a nut to be dripping anything over six. <clears throat> Throat hit is it's pretty darn good on this one. I'm going to go ahead and say it's satisfying me at my normal nicotine range it's more than satisfying me on my throat hit uh, the flavor now on this I know that 
I don't know if uh, anybody's ever mentioned this before, but I, I, I truly do believe that certain liquids are made for dripping and certain liquids are made for tanks. This liquid right here, when I drip it, I am getting just an overpowering blueberry. And in my experience with blueberry vapes, that just seems to be one of the flavors that are really, really hard to nail. I'm getting blueberry. Sorry, folks. My nose is itching for some reason today. Anyway. Uh, with the blueberry, that's pretty much all I'm getting with the dripper. I'm getting just an overpowering blueberry taste. I'm not getting any strawberry. I'm not really getting any cream. Yep, it's just pretty much all blueberry. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to the Evod tank. Still getting pretty good vapor production off of this, even though it's, you know, it's just a tank, limited airflow. Y'all have all heard this before, probably. <clears throat> anyway, with this in the EVOD, I'm getting a little bit more in the lines of what I say is, is intended for tank vaping. And I really do believe that this liquid is intended for vaping in a tank. Because on the inhale... I'm getting what appears to be a creamy strawberry taste and very quickly I'm getting the blueberry afterwards. So I'm getting a slight hint of strawberry cream and then all blueberry. Exhale and all. I mean it's just, this liquid has a very, I mean it is called Smurfette. That may be what it's intended to do but getting a very overpowering blueberry taste. And I'll have to say out of all the blueberry vapes that I've tried, this is probably the best one to date that I've tried just because I haven't had any blueberry vapes before that I could actually vape that much of it. All the other blueberries I've had before, I just, about a half a tank, I just couldn't take it anymore. This one right here could could definitely be an all-day vape for somebody. It's not too sweet. It's not too strong. But it is very blueberry. <laughs> very blueberry. That rhymes kind of. Woohoo! Very blueberry! <laughs> but, uh, yep, as far as a throat hit with the tank, definitely right where it needs to be. The only downside, uh, you know, the only negative thing that I can really say about this liquid is that it had to steep for a while. I've had this for over a month and it's just now gotten to the point where I can enjoy it. Not a real big fan of liquids like that, but it is what it is. So in my ratings on what I rate this liquid as, I'm going to I'm going to give it a thumbs up pretty much. I'll give it a thumbs up because it is what it says that it is. It is a strawberry blueberry blend. Two. Uh, I don't want to make it look like Phil Basardo or nothing but the thumbs up and thumbs down type of thing, but the thumbs down thing about it is that it has to steep for a while. Another thing is that uh Brain fart. Here we go with the brain farts. Redneck with the brain farts. The brain farts. The brain farts. Anyway. And my anyways in here. Anyway. Anyway. Let's move on. Anyway. So, where was I at? Right before that brain fart. Oh yeah, I was kind of rating this. Do I rate it in the I don't like it? Meh. Or, 
Damn, that's good. Well, I'm going to put it right between the, the May and damn, that's good. It's going to be in the, eh, it's all right. It's, it's decent. I have vaped a good amount of this, and I probably will eventually vape the whole bottle. I probably will not order it again. Next time I order, I'll probably go with three different flavors because uh, that's just the way I am. I like to try different things. But I probably won't order that flavor again. Uh, I may end up giving, you know, half, I may vape half that bottle and give the other half away. You never know. I pay forward a lot of my liquids. Um, I haven't had any get, uh, giveaways on this channel yet, but I do intend to do a giveaway once I reach 100 subscribers. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It'll get us to that giveaway quicker. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the giveaway. i probably throw some liquids in there that I have that have reached that point where it's uh, too high a nick for me, should I say. Um, well, I have a lot of stuff that's 18 milligram, and I can't vape that stuff anymore. It's just too strong for me. So if there's some beginners out there, that, that might be a good thing. And I'm thinking about getting a... Throwing a tank in this giveaway, maybe an Aspire Nautilus. So, uh, stay tuned for that. I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway because I really appreciate appreciate every single one of y'all. Another thing, if you're new to vaping, drink plenty of water. Because uh, <clears throat> the PG can uh, sometimes dehydrate you. So, uh, make sure you drink plenty of water. Um, I'm going to take another rip on this, this RDA. Anyway, let's see. I feel like I'm missing something here. been rambling on about a lot of stuff that's kind of gotten me out of out of the subject here, but like I said about Unicorn Vapors, I got a deal going on right now where you can get three 30 mils for $25, and I believe there's some, uh, I thought I saw somewhere where there was some free domestic shipping, but I'm not sure. Um, what I've got coming up here in the future, I've got a couple other liquids I got to get done. It's starting to look like a e-liquid graveyard around around my table here with these empty bottles here. I've done went through the that. Of course, I got three or four of these laying around. The Strix Elixirs Part Two will be coming here pretty soon. I haven't started on them yet because I vaped up the rest of what I had of the first three flavors. One of them type of people. Once I got a coil built. And I've got it in that tank, I like to use all that flavor. I, I'm not one that likes to just rinse a coil out and, and uh, put a new flavor in there on top of what's already been in it. I like to use that coil all the way through that bottle. <clears throat> Possibly have to change the wick material a little bit. But other than that, I've been able to get good use out of my coils as long as I stuck with one flavor for each head. So... Moving along on that, uh, I feel like I've just been rambling away here. Anyway, y'all check them out if you want to. I've got two more flavors from them that I'll be doing sometime in the future. I've got a, I re-upped with Quack's Juice Factory, so I've got the Gizzard Juice and the Frozen Pond. I got those reviews coming up. Uh, I've got the other three from Strix Elixirs that I've already mentioned before. I've got two more liquids from Unicorn Vapor that I need to do reviews on. And uh, probably be doing some more from Time Bomb too. I've been kind of enjoying their liquids. So uh, the fuse that I've done last week, it's not become an all day vape for me, but I do enjoy it. It's becoming an occasional vape. Uh, what else did I... Look at here. 
I'm going to do a, I know everybody and their mother has done a review on the Aspire Nautilus, but I, it's a lot of things that I've seen a lot of people not point out on them, so I'm going to do a review on it anyway because I've got an aero tank coming and I'm going to review both of them and then I'm going to do a, a head to head comparison on them, tell you the pros and cons in my opinion on them too, which one's better, all that, but uh. As far as that all goes, I believe that's all I got for you folks. I hope y'all had a good hump day. And uh, as always, this is Redneck Vapor. Y'all keep on vaping. I'll see you next time. What day is it? What day is it? Yeah! Yeah! What day is it? Ah! Tell me what day is it? Come on, what day is it? What day is it? Woo, hump day!